All right, now that we have our two meshes registered into MIP, if you will, um, the next thing as a, an astute lab technician or person designing a restoration is I'm going to tap around and find all the, all the contacts in MIP. So this is my attempt at doing that virtually. And unfortunately, when I, this particular time that I prepped this tooth and took these scans, my dentiform was not in good occlusion. So this won't be as exciting as if it were in textbook occlusion. Um, and also, I've adjusted it since then, so there's no way for me to verify. So as soon as I can, I will be doing this again, taking pictures of articulating paper marks and comparing it to what we get here. So what I've already done, because my computer can't handle um, screen casting and running the calculation, if you're following along at home, is I did this algorithm right here, which compares a sample of points on this mesh to a sample of points on this mesh, and then calculates the distance between them. Um, very logical, just very intense. If you have, you know, a thousand points here and a thousand points here, that would be a million comparisons, and each comparison involves calculating a distance. So probably three or four steps in each comparison. So and we have over 30,000 points in each of these meshes, so do the math if you care. It's, it's a lot, so it takes a few seconds. And when it's trying to screencast at the same time, you just can't handle it. So I've already done that. And what we'll do now is we will assign a color gradient based on the distance that it calculated. All right, so that apparently it ranges from two tenths of a millimeter to five millimeters. So that's 200 microns to 5,000 microns, which means that these meshes aren't really touching. But maybe if we can just say, okay, that's just due to some error. Maybe 0.2 to 0.6 would correspond to what a real you know, if they were touching, what the contacts would be. Apply that. Then hide the opposing. And, dun -dun -dun, this shows our contacts. So, assuming the, you know, the meshes were registered decently and stuff, this should work. Um, you know, how, how accurate this is, is purely a product of how accurate each individual scan was and how well they've been registered together.